What's up, ASG? Welcome. Today, we are rewinding Friday the 13th. Our first Spooktober rewind. Yes. Oh. Yes. Spooktober. Oh. I'm very scared. You guys know I hate hate horror movies, so... I'm glad that this one wasn't very scary. I... I... I what? Dude, this one was not scary at all. Oh my god. Well, you know why it wasn't scary? Because you had yapsters in the movie, <laughs> movie sesh. When you have people talking during the movie, uh -huh. of course the movie's gonna be less scary. But let's not even but, start it but, here. But let's no, no, not no, no, even no, no, start no, 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 no. I'm gonna start it because... <laughs> Cause he didn't. Okay, when we did our other review, which which we'll get into that later, or on another video, but you didn't even want it at full. The want the TV at full volume. You were like, oh, put it at a hundred. Yeah, we're sitting with five the, feet the, away the, from with, the television. With the lights off. Yeah, lights off. We had lights off when I watched uh, the. But you had a talker. I did have a talker. An avid, an avid talker. They were, they were. They which were makes the movie. A little that makes the movie watching experience I was a little more less in. scary. I was locked in. Oh yeah, you. Oh. Yeah, I don't doubt you were locked in, but to say it's not a scary movie, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. There were. I mean, I can't say. I can't say the majority of the movie is scary mm -hmm. because it's not. Most most horror movies, majority of them aren't scary. Yeah. They just have little moments that are scary. But I thought this movie was pretty scary. I mean. I it was more whenever I was watching it I thought it was more atmospheric because I did like all the, the, the all the raining and all the the dark fucking moments mm -hmm. and the, especially whenever the camera is literally watching them from the window I every time yeah. there was a moment where like the camera would pan and it sees the care our characters like in the windows I thought yeah. somebody was gonna pop out and just stab them in it like classic like you know what you would think would happen and that was my one of my main questions i did want to ask you is how you did feel about like the killer being personified by the camera bro it's great for basically the whole movie it's great i, I think was that's kinda, good i was kind of for, for 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 a movie that came out in 1980, 1980 i think that's a i think that's pretty cool mm -hmm. because i don't think at the time there was too many movies like that right um but and i knew coming into this that jason wasn't in this movie and I did not yeah and that's I think that's why you give it a lower score yes yes I I was literally the entire time looking at my mom and I just like do you guys know when the like when Jason shows up <laughs> <laughs> like do you guys know when the fuck Jason pulls up to the movie oh my gosh. <laughs> like where's the guy I'm here to watch and yeah. he never came and then not even to get to the ending already but that ending i was just like mm. it rubbed me the wrong way so what did you not <laughs> like about it i it probably was just because it wasn't what i was expecting if i if it was in 1980 and i went and watched the movie not knowing what it was i'm sure it would have been crazy that this 60 year old woman is like insane and her, she definitely was insane she kind of goes overboard with some of it. Some of it is like teetering on Goofy. Don't let her live. I won't, Jason. I won't. Mm -hmm. But she's definitely like plays the, oh, I'm, you know, pissed off about my kid. Like I'm insane now type of shit. Yeah. She played that really well. Um, but I don't know. Maybe she it was talks, just she like. She talks about Jason. No, yeah, I know she, she talks about it. I understand, like, oh, this is just... And they didn't know they were going to get a franchise. This, The idea was just this crazy lady that her kid died and she went crazy. Yeah. But it obviously but spawned, it was, it's a, it spawned it's a, it's, all this. It's a, I, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to sit here and act like the movie's, like, the greatest slasher. Because it's not. Mm -hmm. But it's a... It's a medium-tier you know good kickstart to you know slasher movies especially 1980 yeah you know, the 80s the, what we're gonna what we're gonna notice the 80s really kickstarted that fucking big that big mascot slasher era of like horror bad guys and that the 80s kickstarted that off um like You'll, you'll see because like the move that i'll say the friday the 13th movies kind of get pro progressively like they, they don't get they don't get better but the kills get more interesting right um but i did like the kills in this movie i like I, I mean granted there was two there was two scenes where it was just like a throat slash 
And then, <clears throat> but and there's a couple of kills <clears throat> that we don't see, like the dude um, that's uh, like chopping it up with our main chick that makes it the whole movie. Um, yeah, okay. He goes yeah, yeah, to yeah. like check on the the equipment like way late in the movie. Everyone no, 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 else no, no, no. is dead. Or no, some he's shit. he's on the meat hooks. Yeah, yeah, we see him after. We see him after, but I'm saying like we don't see him. Oh, we don't see him actually getting put. Yeah, we don't get him like slashed Um, type. I don't mind that just because like at least we see like what it was like a reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd say, man, I I think I think the scariest one for me was like Kevin Bacon, young Kevin Bacon (laughs) is is sitting in the laying in the bed, and then you just see the arm go, and then you just see the fucking arrow go through his throat yeah i'm like oh that that scared the shit and so out of me. since we have watched the first two i am seeing like a very big pattern it's just like if you have sex you're dead what do you mean like if you have sex in these horror movies well horror okay like you're dead well you're gonna horror, die. every horror movie has like sex in it like a i know lot of, a lot like from here on to like like a lot of movie, a lot of obscure horror movies uh-huh. just have sex. I'm not saying it should. I'm saying when you do in these yeah. movies, that character, yeah, that's clear, you that's know a, they're yeah, gonna that's die. That's gonna. That's a clear sign. It's just saying just like never really. Yeah, it's like ruin. It's like it's it's you know cock blocking. Like they're just you know mm. they're ruining the the fun. Mm-hmm. Like that murder is supposed to be ruining the fun. Like there's not nothing goes. And then. Um, but uh, the one where the guy who's like going out in the in the jeep, but he comes back with the police officer. Yes. And then he kind of like, he's like he's like, hey, uh, something something something, and he's like walking towards the camera. He's like, hey, <laughs> and then he goes, he go, he does this, he does, and then like I'm like, bro, that scared the shit out of me, dude. And then he just gets gutted right there, and I'm just like, oh my god. I I see now it didn't get me. I remember you telling me that one scared. Because you had to, because you had to, yeah, if you were watching it by yourself, you would probably go. But what just pieced together in my mind, bro, and I didn't even realize this, is because it was going to be like a big thing that I talked about in my uh, review, but then it wasn't Jason. So I was like, okay, I can't talk about that. Um, Is a couple of these kills, it's in first person, like we were talking about, and it's like they're going up to the person, the person's just like talking to them. Like there's some regular ass person. I'm like, is he not wearing like a hockey mask? Like where are they not just looking at Jason like, whoa, what the fuck? They're just like, oh, hey, howdy. And then now I just piece together. It's because it's just like this woman. It's this lady, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's, yeah, the, that's okay, the crazy, okay. that's, the, that's the real crazy part about it. Yeah. It's because they're not, they're not too concerned with like this, this lady. They're just like, hey, are you, hey, how's it, yeah. how's it going? And then they just get fucking gutted. Um, but I know that w- the shower scene with that one girl, mm. um, I forget how she dies. Um, I know she, I know she's in the bathroom and then she kind of looks back at the shower. Um, I, I forgot how she, go- how she, how she gets killed. The one that goes and takes a shower. Yeah. I forgot how she gets killed. Um, I don't. I think we don't see her. I, she, I think she's a revealed death as well. When mm-hmm. uh, the main character and her boy toy yeah. go out and start the search at first, yeah, and then they find her, and then they find other dude. Yeah, I think they're both um, reveal kills. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. But I do think. Um, but the chopping of the head, like whenever, the, whenever the the lady's head gets chopped off. I thought, that, good, I, I thought that was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was a good chopping of the. Because like it's like right there, the camera frame's like right there, and then it's like shink, mm-hmm. and it's, I thought that was I thought that was insane. And then of course, I mean, I don't know how we've gone this long without doing the iconic. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, that shit is that after shit is about good. after about 10, 20 times of them doing it, it started to get old, but it is an iconic sound. Oh, well, but they I, did I, it. I guarantee. I guarantee. Times. I guarantee. You were watching it, but someone was like, they "Keep doing that sound!" Or somebody, was, <laughs> I know, I know. Like you were, you were like during the movie, you were like, "Oh, the sound again." I, gar- I wasn't I like that. Yeah, I just I kept saying <laughs> every time they did it, and I was like, "Damn, they're doing this shit!" Like, I think it's atmosphere. over and I think over. It's, I think it's yeah. They did probably do it a little overkill, but I think it is kind of atmospheric. Yeah, though it is it is an iconic like sound, but but is it just for the mom or is it for Jason as well? No, that's like Jason's okay. that's like Jason's thing. But okay. I honestly thought this this movie is is very like um, 
I think it does set like the ground story for you know why Jason is the way he is because mm-hmm. he's kind of just like you know he drowned yeah allegedly and then he comes back and like fucking grows up to be this fucking ju- insane just like his mother yeah you that know? that was a good jump scare that did get me when she's like going away on the boat mm-hmm. and then he just jumps up and gets her out of nowhere <laughs> Yes. I was not expecting that shit. I was definitely like, oh, movie's over type shit. But Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And it's like I and don't then, know, like and then she is in the hospital and she's like, Did you did you guys find the boy? And they're like, What what boy? We didn't find no fucking that okay. okay. Come on. Like it was like it's not the it's not the craziest yeah. slasher. But I mean it literally gives you like a base plan for you know next what's the next up? movies like mm-hmm. Jason Voorhees as a killer character as mm-hmm. like a slasher villain. It was a it was a fun watch. It like, was a fun watch. I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna hate on it too hard. Right. Um, probably never gonna watch it again. Really? But it was cool. Yeah. Unless I really like unless we watch the other Friday the Thirteenth movies. Yeah. And I like really get into them. Then yeah, I probably wouldn't watch this one again. Right. Okay, I mean that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I mean this one this one is kind of like I don't want to say like slow burn because all, all you do jump you, you don't you do you kinda of like kinda but I mean you do jump into it pretty fast because mm-hmm. you're at Crystal Lake. Um oh yeah, and by the way, I think uh I think this location it's at a Crystal real Lake it's a real location, but it's in New Jersey. Yep. Um and that is a landmark that you know, I eventually want to like visit one day. It's called the real Crystal Lake. Wouldn't that be awesome to go visit the actual Crystal Lake where it was filmed? I've got it in our in our trivia, but we'll talk about it right now. Okay. It was at Camp No B Bosco. No B Bosco. No B Bosco. They uh, are still in operation, and it has a wall of like the Friday the Thirteenth like commemorative wall Whoa, painting, that's and they sick. still have the Camp Crystal Lake like sign. Whoa, up, chilling, <laughs> dude. Oh yeah, I want to go there one day. Uh, they also did an event for like the anniversary, and they had like a big TV out there or a big like screen out there yeah. for everybody to watch Friday the Thirteenth. It was it was pretty cool. Imagine they brought a Jason Voorhees actor out there, like just dressed up as Jason. I wonder if they did. They probably they, they, they probably to. did. That would be so cool. Yeah. I just saw that while I was scrolling through some of the yeah. stuff, so I don't know. Camp Noby Bosco. That's a hey. Put that. I'm gonna put that one on the places to go. Yeah. Before I die, like I'm, I'm gonna put that one on there. All right, let's get into this freaking box office budget. Let so anyway. we've got the inflation going on because it is in 1980. So we got the budget for both years. So in 1980, they spent five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is only two million today. So still okay. pennies to compared to what they spend today, yeah. and uh, it grossed thirty nine million, almost forty million, literally just under forty million hmm. uh, worldwide. Say forty million, um, and that means they did a hundred and fifty two million seven hundred forty three thousand in today's money. So, I mean, they spent two million and made. You know, over ten times that. So okay, they did pretty good. Yeah, they did pretty good for themselves. They they did insanely well. They, they were able to they were able to take that money and be like, oh shit, we can make more. Five hundred fifty thousand dollars. You walk away with freaking, what? What did I say? Thirty nine mil. Yeah. Oh, trust me, you were getting you were gonna get hella movies after this. And they got a promotion and yeah, all oh, that yeah. shit. They're they're Hemothy now. Yeah. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth. It was the eighteenth highest grossing movie that year of nice. 1980 uh star wars the yep. emperor strikes back was number one of course. Uh, that was like the big box office hit of but course. there was some other horror movies in 1980 yeah uh, we had the shining yep. uh we had dress to kill the fog which i know you really wanted us to do but we didn't pull it and then uh prom night mm, honestly that's so wild that like that, that year it was it was star wars emperor strikes back that, that's so crazy it's so wild that like there's so many iconic movies and i i that kind of puts it in perspective though i forget like how long a year is Mm -hmm. and how many every how many movies come out in a year right but that's why i like i like to rank things that's why we like to rank things in like eras or like have things in like eras because 80s to 90s that's a lot of fucking movies movies yeah for that time period 
All right, but you got some trivia for us, right? Yeah, let's kick off some freaking trivia. So let's do it. Start it off with the killer, mm -hmm. Betsy Palmer, the actress yep. that played um, the killer. Rest in peace to her. Mm -hmm. she, she has passed away in 2015. Okay. Um, Damn. But originally, uh, she actually didn't want to be a part of the film. She said the only reason she joined in the film was because she was desperate to get a car at the time. Mm. Damn. The first time she needed read that this, whip. Yeah, needed the whip. She said the first time she read the script, it was, quote, a piece of shit. Damn. But over time, she she came to love the franchise, started to, you know, like her role in it, uh, would go to cons and interact with fans and stuff. And That's uh, what's up. If you went to go talk to her about Jason, she, she didn't know who the masked figure was because her son died. In 1956 mm -hmm. or so she was playing the bit yeah she like played the that's bit with them and stuff it but that awesome. that and like that's that's like the fucking beauty of it dude it's like whenever you're if you're an actor or actress that you know if you don't like something that you're in you know give it a couple years if it if it gets you know you like some fame i think i think that will grow on you and i think that's that's the beauty of it you know it, like you know one man's you know oh i hate that movie is another man's like oh i love that movie that's a, that's a good you know it's it's a guilty pleasure right like you know that's what she, you know, and she was clearly in that stage of her career where it's like I gotta take, yeah, you gotta whatever's take, coming, yeah, type stuff, yeah. So that, you know, that's cool. Obviously, as fuck. it turned out to be a big time role for her. So. Yeah, oh yeah. But I wonder why she didn't like the script, like. But it's well, I can tell. I can tell you probably why she didn't like it. It's just be probably because she was at the end of the movie. So she, she was probably looking at it like, so I'm not in this movie till the end of it. Right, they don't see yeah. me until the end. Mm -hmm. So she probably weirded out about that. But she does get to act her ass off at the end. She does. She gets the dialogue and yeah, stuff. Yeah. She gets to be evil, mm -hmm. evil super villain. And get her get her head chopped off. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That I swear to God, that part that still I'll say it again. That part is, is that was pretty a good crazy. Kill. Yeah. That was a good kill. Um, so let's get into some of the crew members. A big crew member on this was Tom Sav Savini. Mm -hmm. He was uh, one of the first members they hired on. He was their um, their or their special makeup artist yeah um and he is the one that did the dawn of the dead special makeup effects and stuff oh cool so they specifically got him because he killed it in that movie mm -hmm. and got him for this nice um, see i like the i like i like zach schneider's dawn of the dead mm -hmm. more than the old dawn of the have dead. a seat i haven't seen either hopefully we'll Bro. have to rewind those man yeah um but another fact about him is one of the cooler stunts in the movie yeah. is like when they're first like going around the camp. Yes. And that this is crazy. They shoot the bow like two inches away from her. Yeah. At the target. So like that was the freaking the special effects. Yeah. Dude, or not special yeah. effects, but the makeup effects. Dude, yeah. That shot. So I think up. that I think that's I think that's funny because when, even when I was watching that. Um, I didn't bring this up in the first in the first time we talked about it, okay. but like you know, it was funny when I was, when I did see that part. I'm like, damn, like that shit was coming in hot. Like that <laughs> yeah. shit, that arrow was came in hot and it hit the little hay the hay the hay target. Yeah, was, and I'm just like, I'm like, damn, like that. What? But what would have been cool if like what if they like did like a little like like uh, method thing where she really didn't know it was coming, but she heard the wisp of it and then turned around and said her line. Mm. Um, but that would be that would be cool. But I mean, I, I doubt that happened because that's hella right. dangerous. The dude was like trying to be like flirtatious with it in the scene. Like, yeah, bro, buddy, that's not how you get her. Bro, <laughs> yeah, bro, that's not that's not like that's not that's just not safe. <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know, dudes were crazy back then. Yeah, dudes. Yeah. Um, so the iconic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. Wait, made. who can do it better? comments <laughs> um but that was made by the composer harry manfredini hope mm -hmm. i said that right um he attached it to the score and it is his voice that does that i don't know if he does it nice. for the rest of it but that is his voice that does the special effect or the sound effect so the actual first title for this film mm -hmm. was going to be long night at camp blood which is what they kind of referenced it in the movie as. Right. Do you think this would have spawned a whole thing if it was called A Long Night at Camp, Flo at Camp Blood instead of Friday the 13th? I mean, really, how are we to say? Mm -hmm. Because, like, there have been a lot of really crazy titles for movies, and they've done great. Right. But I think Friday the 13th, they really, na like, nailed it with this one. Yeah. Just because... Friday the 13th mm -hmm. kind of like the Dragon Ball guy where he's like he's like next time on Dragon Ball Z <laughs> and it's like it's like Friday the 13th mm -hmm. 
So I think I think Friday the 13th it's just so it's just so referenced like still. Like everybody like if if, I, if it's on the calendar, oh it's a Friday the 13th. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh fuck. You know, it's just you know, it's one of those kind of big pop culture like oh, yeah, it's big pop culture reference yeah. like today. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody knows Friday the 13th. So yeah, I think the title helped. Oh yeah. It. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Last little trivia fact, this one's actually kind of like crazy. So the main actress, the one that makes it to the end, uh, Adrian King, uh, she plays Alice mm. in the movie. Yeah. Um, she was actually stalked by a fan, like what the extreme, fuck? Extremely by a fan bad. or fans? By a fan. By a fan. Oh a my god! Crazed fan about this movie stalked her, and she asked for her role in the second movie to be like extremely reduced. And just from that, this one person yeah and what after the fuck? that she didn't act or go to like cons or anything for literally 20 years bro she let that she let that one person affect her whole career like that i guess she was she was going through uh some stuff during it and and that that was like the tip of the iceberg type okay type I, I can understand that yeah i can understand that being like hella traumatic but um but yeah, that's that's insane. Like, was this dude like thinking he was like he Jason was like you Jason shit. or something? Like he wanted to like harm this lady, or like or he thought like oh she's so hot, right? Like who who, who knows what what it could have been? Maybe if you like maybe if you probably looked more deeper into it, you'd probably fi- fi- figure it out. But it's crazy I don't really I feel think like doing she's that. She's literally the only girl that in the whole film that doesn't get filmed like in her underwear, yeah, just walking around and shit. Yeah. So I feel like well, it has to be the Jason shit. I'm pretty sure she's the only one. Because I mean, she's the only she one that survives. In, well, right? I mean, she was in the she in the, in the lakes when they were in the, they were in the, okay, they were in the, the lake. lake. You're right. You're she's. Right. I think she's the one that like dives into the water. Okay. Um, but yeah, that. But go, going back to that lake scene, remember when like the, the guy was like drowning? Um, you know what's maybe you know what's crazy? I had like a, I had like a weird thing with that with that scene because I was like maybe like oh shit because whenever you you see the ending that Jason's in the water, uh-huh. so then. What if like that moment he like felt a tug, but then he was like you know playing it off like he didn't feel it. But like maybe but what if like there was a what if there's a scene we never saw, like what if, I'm just thinking in contemplation. Or it was not, just like an imply like maybe yeah, that was but, supposed to be. Yeah, maybe that was supposed to be in the film where Jason like grabs his leg and pulls him down and he does drown. Yeah. And he or they do have to do CPR, but then it was just they play he plays it off as like a joke like oh that was weird let me just not say anything. Maybe mm. that was a, maybe that was like an extra scene they just didn't put in. Mm. But that would have been cool, though, right? Yeah. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. You want to give it a little... I, I, I give it a 7 out of 10. 7? 7 out of 10. Okay, yeah. Because it wasn't, like... It wasn't a crazy, like, good film. But, I mean, it ha- it, it's just, like, the, the iconic essence of it mm-hmm. is just is just there. Yeah. And, like, I liked, mo- I liked most of the kills. Um, I liked the twist at the end. Mm-hmm. And I think it is, a, it, it, it is the base movie for Jason Voorhees in his like upbringing right um even if he was like at the end for a little bit yeah um but still it, it's just like I, I i love it um definitely would watch again yeah i think i'd give it probably like a six six point five uh in that area i mean some of it was a little just slow and it didn't really scare me all that crazy because um, you had an audience because i had, had talking yeah, I audience a talking audience but, and it wasn't blasted to 100 or yeah the fuck uh, but no, it was a solid watch. Um, kind of wish we were watching like all the Friday the 13th movies, but I know. Okay. Yeah. Gotta, gotta do the comp. Yeah, Jason Voorhees. I think it's like, I think it's called like Jason in Manhattan or something like that. Is the next one? No, not the next one, but it's oh. one of the movies where he's got like the, he's got like, it's just a crazy, crazy movie. Is that the one where I heard that, or you told me that he literally just holds that guy? I, I see. I think. I think that is the one, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't. There's so many. He has so many good kills. Holds that guy. And so has a car running, running through or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> but dude, it's so fucking good. Yeah, it's so fucking good. He's got so many crazy kills. All right, guys. But that does it with our Spooktober rewind of Friday the Thirteenth, nineteen.
80. Yes. Um, this is a really fun one. I enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments what you like about Friday the 13th. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tune in to more Spooktober rewinds for the month of October. Um, and honestly, we might jump a little bit more into like the beginning of November, like as like a the ending. That's okay, because if you think if you think about most haunted houses, end in like November's. All right, ASG, peace. Ah!